There ain't no chance you're reaching 6-6 if you ain't eating like this. If you apply the knowledge that I bestow in this video and eat like this, it will have the most profound effect on your height. You can grow up to a foot taller. Go to the least affluent area of your town and look around. You'll notice that they're significantly shorter than the rest. Why? Because protein is expensive as and the main reason most people don't reach their true height potential. Refer back to the second and third laws of height growth to truly comprehend the importance of nutrition for height. The second law states that the crucial hormones HGH and IGF-1 compel your bones to grow. And we know that all hormones are manufactured from fats. So without the right fats, there is no bone growth. The third law compels us to have an optimal protein and micronutrient intake. And here's a key point. The composition of your diet has to reflect the composition of your body. In other words, you are what you eat. So pay close attention because I'm about to tell you exactly what to eat by name and how much to eat it for maximal height growth. When it comes to how much to eat, if you're not having enough, the food will be used to keep you alive rather than growing taller. Take for instance, if you're on minimum wage, you're not thinking of how to grow your savings to a million, you're just trying to survive. Now that you know to eat a lot, let the prof tell you what to eat. I'm going to begin by drilling into your heads why you cannot neglect your vitamins and minerals, aka micronutrients. You all know to drink milk for its calcium, but did the news not reach you? That without the vitamins D3, K2, C, and the rest, the calcium is rendered useless. Also, your skeletal structure will be compromised if you don't get enough of the other minerals such as magnesium, phosphate, and zinc. And now comes the most important part, macronutrients. Protein and fats are essential for the growth of bone mass, upkeep of growth plate cartilage, and the production of the hormones that cause height growth. You also need carbohydrates to fuel these processes and more importantly, for the release of insulin, the highly anabolic hormone which grows you the f up. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. What exactly should you eat? Starting off with protein because not eating enough of it is the reason most of y'all are short in the first place. Excellent sources of protein include the king of foods, meat, particularly grass-fed lamb, followed by beef, bison and buffalo if you can get it, then Joe Rogan's personal favorite, elk and moose, then salmon, cod and tuna, and then finally organic, pasture-raised, free-range, family heirloom, passed-down chicken. Just kidding with the last one any chicken would suffice. And it's cheaper like the following options, milk and eggs. Also make sure to get one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Now for sources of fat and carb. Extra virgin, stone cold, Steve Austin press, unfiltered Mediterranean olive oil, quality butter or ghee, complex carbs like barley, whole wheat or rice. And don't skimp on the vegetables and fruit because these will have you covered not only on the micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, but also will balance your alkalinity, which is essential for bone growth. Particularly focus on cruciferous vegetables and leafy greens. For fruits, eat dates, figs, berries, and grapes. The last two being crucial sources of resveratrol, which will lower your estrogen. Remember that the fourth law tells us that height growth ends due to estrogen. Make minor alterations based on your genetics, attuned to your local produce. I tell you to consult your doctor, but let's be honest. Their incompetence is why you're here in the first place. To calculate your caloric needs, use this graph. If you have a need to get in contact with me or want to join the resistance faction, you can do that here.